Hello everyone, this is Laura coming to you today from the Last Days Ministries and today I'm going to be looking at a false prophet called Ryan Lestrange. Now, <coughs> Ryan Lestrange is um, a, um, a, a prophet in the New Apostolic Reformation um, and I've told you before about what the New Apostolic Reformation is. Um, it is a uh, basically a false teaching where they teach about bringing Jesus into the seven mountains of society and um, they were thrown out of the assemblies of God in 1948 for all kinds of well for different types of heresies because that what they were teaching was heretical so this guy is one of the quote-unquote prophets in the new apostolic reformation now what i want you to do is name really suits him ryan lestrange it really does suit him what i want you to do is i want you to listen to what this man says and as i go i will comment on it okay now be prepared for your mind mind to go what like really like <laughs> what and I just want to say this that um, just before we go I just want to say that I heard this clip being played on fighting for the fade pirate pirate Christian radio and I couldn't stop laughing I, I have to say Chris is very funny um, when he does these kind of comments but I wanted to bring this information over to you um, my, the subscribers and for people who want to watch this I just want you to listen to what this man has to say and I have to say every time Chris went what I'd be going what <laughs> so okay so let's go and uh, may the Lord bless you so here we here we go just get this big and we'll start now it's Ryan Lestrange here with April's Prophetic Word, and this is the full prophetic word. I released an earlier video with a snippet of it, but I want to share this word in totality with you because I believe it's an urgent word, a pressing word. You know, I've been in such a time of prayer with the Lord recently, and He's been giving me downloads, and one of the downloads He gave me for the month of April was He spoke to me, and He said, I'm shaking things up. Okay, now, downloads. Uh, chapter verse Ryan I'd really love to know where the Bible talks about downloads now we know the last 20 years since when I was a young woman why well, I got the internet I think it was 1998 the internet came in I think about 1995 to Ireland so it's been almost over 20 odd years that we've had the internet and downloading has been happening from there online but I would like to see it in the Word of God. Um, maybe you can give me a chapter and a verse. <laughs> okay, and uh, so, yeah, according to Ryan, uh, he's gotten a download that tells him that God is shaking things up. I wonder what those things are. Let's listen. I believe the word of the Lord for April is the divine shakeup that God is releasing a shaking in your life. That okay, so God is releasing a shaking in your life. Okay, now I want you to think about this. Where in Scripture does it say that God is releasing a shakeup in your life? Now it does say in Scripture, this is what it really says in Scripture. It says, when we're born again and we're saved okay and we're part of the kingdom of light we are then justified um before god so positionally speaking we, we we're righteous but then what happens is that we daily are being sanctified and god is bringing up our sin and he's showing us our sin and he's cleaning us up which he will do until the day we are um until the day we are uh, in with god then we'll be given a glorified body so so when he says that things he's shaking things up let's listen to what 
he says about that. So remember what I've just said to you according to scripture. Now listen to what he says. God is releasing a shaking in his people. That God is releasing a shaking in the ecclesia. That things are being dislodged supernaturally by the spirit of the Lord. This is going to be a time of divine dislodging. Things that have been stuck. Things that would not move. Things that would not... Okay. Divine dislodging things that have been stuck. Again. That, where's that in the Bible? Like I said, God is sanctifying us daily. So now all of a sudden God's going to unlodge and unstuck stuff that he's already unsticking. <laughs> I mean, you know, to use his vernacular, I mean, think about it like this, right? Daily we're being changed into his image and likeness and God does it slowly. You know, he doesn't do it all together. Anyway, let's keep going. Things that would not bend are about to be dislodged by the Spirit of the Lord. But when God does a thing, there's a plan and there's a purpose. I'm not talking about random shaking. I'm not talking about destruction. I'm talking about supernatural relocation. God picking something up from here and putting it over there. Supernatural relocation. God pulling something and putting it over somewhere else. else confused about what he's talking about this this is this is confusing remember that god is a god of order and intelligibility this makes what he's saying is making zero sense according to scripture zip nada sense let's keep going this is a time and a season of the divine shake-up. I'm telling you, the Spirit of God is releasing divine shake-up over His people. I'm the Spirit of God is releasing divine shake-up over His people. Yeah, okay. So, where is that in the scripture? Okay. First Hesitations one twelve. I looked up the word shake in the dictionary because I feel like when God speaks a thing, it's important to rightly define it. Lord, what are you saying? Uh, when God speaks to me and says a certain word, I look it up. I want to know the meaning of the word. What are you saying, Lord? And the word shake means this, to move or sway with short, quick, irregular, vibratory movements. And I'm okay, I think most people who are adults know the meaning of the word shake, Ryan. Talk about intellectually, uh, you know, talking down to people. That that's an insult to anyone's intelligence. We we know people know what Jake means. Thank you very much. <sighs> in other words, in a moment, something moves, something shakes. Well, I never knew that, now, Ryan. You know, because like I'm only forty nine, so I wouldn't have a clue about shaking. You know what the word shaking means? Bless my precious heart. You know. Okay, I'm being sarcastic for those of you who don't know, but let's keep going. I believe that's the quicklies and the suddenlies of God. I like <laughs> the quicklies and the suddenlies. <laughs> okay, so now he's using the quicklies. Yes, you heard it correctly. Quicklies and suddenlies of God. Anybody understand that? <laughs> this is kind of like guess what he's talking about it kind of reminds me of you know where they play uh, charades but except it's with words you know what does that mean <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i like god's quickly i like god suddenly you know i found out when you get under the anointing when you get under the spirit of god things that you couldn't do are suddenly accomplished things that you couldn't get to happen happen quickly and i believe in this time of the divine shake-up there's going to be a release of god's quicklies and god's suddenlies uh, okay so <laughs> in this divine shake-up there's going to be a divine shake-up and quicklies and now I like this, it means to become dislodged. I believe things are going to become dislodged. So the quickly then the suddenly is, it means to become dislodged and we know that the shaking, according to you, shaking is, you showed us what it means. Thank you so much, Ryan. Um, never knew that. <laughs> By the Spirit of God in the month of April, I believe the divine shake up is at hand. Prisons are going to shake. Bondages are going to shake. 
Okay, so we're going to have an earthquake under the prisons all over the world. Because the prisons are still going to start... I'm sorry for giggling you guys, but it's ridiculous. Shake. Things are going to be dislodged. Look for advancement in the month of April. Look for the acceleration of a thing in the month of April. Okay, those are word buzzwords. words. They always use the word acceleration. It's not where it found in scripture, but they always use these buzzwords. So you see what he's trying he, what he's doing is he's trying to sound really intellectual and intelligent, spiritually, you know, intelligent. But it none of this makes any sense, as you know, in general, and also biblically speaking, this makes no sense at all. <coughs> the Lord says this. He says there is divine displacement to empower supernatural replacement. Divine replacement to inter. Oh, good grief! There's divine <coughs> displacement to empower supernatural replacement. Sometimes to get from here to get over there, you gotta get unstuck right here, and things are becoming unstuck. When the Lord said to me replacement, I said, Lord, what are you saying? He said, I'm reaffirming things. I'm reestablishing things. There are some things that God spoke to you, and God planned for you, and God purposed for you that you began. To step out into it and hell showed up and stopped you. But I. Okay, here goes. Now. This business of there's something that God has called you into <coughs> and the devil has stopped you and all of this kind of stuff. Now, look. When you were called by the Lord Jesus, if you're a true born again Bible believing Christian, you are called to preach the gospel. To share the gospel with your friends, your family, you're obviously called to have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And um, some of you, you know, the Lord has given you the gift to be doctors and lawyers or whatever it is, and you've to share the gospel. This business of, oh, I don't know. It, it, it's all about what I've noticed about this man. It's all about you. It's all about us as humans. Jesus said we're to die to ourselves daily, right? Pick up our cross and follow him. So that means that we follow the Lord Jesus Christ daily. And, and you know, and Chris says this, Chris Rosberg says this, and it's true. If you're married, you be the best husband or wife you can be in the ways of the Lord. You know, if, if you're working, you do the, the work unto the Lord. You know, um, if you're in ty different types of ministries, you serve. It's not about you. It's you serve the people. Um, this man is all about himself and getting... It, it's all about people. It, it's not about the fact of Jesus Christ that we die to ourselves daily. It's about him saying, God has got a powerful life for you. Look, there are many people out there, let me tell you, who at this moment in time are being persecuted, are locked up in boxes in Eritrea, are being set on fire for the sake of the gospel. This guy is a false and he's a phony and he's fake. Let's keep going. I hear the Lord say there's divine replacement coming, that God is refixing you, remantling you, repurposing you. Remantling. Now let's let's think about this, right? Now in the New Apostolic Reformation, they talk about the impartation of the mantle <coughs> of the apostolic anointing, whatever. Now the impartation of the apostolic anointing, right, is New Apostolic Reformation talk, speak, right? In other words, that they're they're passing the imparting the anointing into you. That is not biblical. This is why these people were thrown out. Because it's not biblical. The minute that you get saved, you get sealed by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost then enters into your body. You you are a temple of the Holy Spirit. So this business of the impartation of the, you know, of the anointing, um, <laughs> it, it, you know, it it's not biblical. Let's go. 
reestablishing you. That in this time that He's shaking it up, look for things to be displaced in order to be replaced. Now, the scripture the Lord gave me. Look for things to be displaced to be replaced. Okay, I think that's enough for the moment because really this guy is fake beyond fake. Now, the problems with the new apostolic, I could play the whole thing, but I'd be here all day. But the problem is with the new apostolic reformation is they take the word of God, they twist it. And sometimes they don't even use God's word. They just use all this nonsensical stuff, shaking things and accelerating things and you know the anointing of the impartation you know the double portion of the impartation of the anointing <laughs> I mean you know we could go on and on with these what they are they're essentially buzzwords in this cult that they that they're using and it's they make they're trying to make it sound hyper spiritual so you know it'll come across as like wow that sounds like hyper spiritual and this is why a lot of these people listen to him because they think okay he's beyond logic he's in the spirit and there's no logic in the spirit whereas the lord jesus christ said that he's given us the mind of christ the mind of christ in other words that we are to think logically about these things we are to think and we are to test does what he had just said there about the shaking things up and and all of that what he just said does it make any sense like really honestly conducively does that make sense no it doesn't but anyway so that's all i wanted to share about um ryan lestrange perfect name for him um please feel free to share and uh, also if you want to comment please leave your comment underneath that'd be great and um, so that's all i want to say for the moment may the lord bless you may the lord keep you and may the lord let his light to shine upon you and i will talk to you super soon bye for now bye bye